Please give us clarity on the Nair's relationship. Please give us clarity on the Nair's relationship. Please give us clarity. So you have the hope card, the star, Aquarius energy. Okay. This card represents hope. Okay. So there's still hope in your relationship. Just to let you know since this card came out. Also, this card means um, the Aquarius. Okay, because I know he's a Cancer, but Aquarius they live in the a type of abstract world, meaning that you really can't put your your finger on why they feel a certain way. Okay, because they're they're him having this energy. I mean, he's kind of aloof. I'm feeling as well. But there's still hope because he can still come back around. Let me get um, more clarification. Why is the star card here? Um, also, this means spirituality, okay? Or just having faith, okay? Let's get more of a... So I'm seeing the three of swords. So there's some type of heartbreak, hoping you can get over heartbreak. So I'm seeing he's hoping you can get over some type of heartbreak, some type of portrayal, okay? We're going to get into more, um, more deeper than that. Hold on one second. Also, if this three of swords can represent just pain in the heart, not knowing um, when things are going to get better, okay? Not knowing if you're gonna, you can get over certain situations, Okay, and I'm seeing that for him, he hopes you do. You know, it's caused him pain at the fact that he feels like you're not getting over. Let me get some more clarity. Hold on one second. Then we have six of swords. Yes, yeah, so I'm seeing that he's wanting to move on. He's wanting for either for you or him to move on to get over this situation. He has hope that you will you will forgive him or get over some situation and that you guys will move on. Let's get some um, uh, more insight. Why is the star card here? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so he feels like there's a new chapter, a new beginning. Also, he could be acting new. Um or <clears throat> brand new, but the Wheel of Fortune, it basically means a new chapter going in the the right direction of life or the chapter of your life or your future um, is going to be different, completely different. And he's hoping that he's in it. For some reason, I feel like he's kind of insecure about the relationship right now. Um, obviously, there was some betrayal or there was just been some conflict. I'm seeing it could involve another person. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm seeing there's a possibility that it could uh, involve someone else or just someone else's input. Okay. Let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is um, Earth Energy which represents Capricorn, um, Virgo, and Taurus, okay? So it was something that was solid, something that was, you felt like, let's look at this. Hmm. He do want to offer you something, something. It's not, the Knight of Pentacles is not the king and it's not the queen. So I'm seeing he is, he's slow. I'm seeing that he's slowly coming to terms of the pain. Okay. He's slowly coming to, uh, to terms about it. Like he wants to move on. He wants to move on from a specific situation. He wants to move on. Let's see how he wants to move on. Who he, who he wants to move on with. Is there a certain someone? Why he wants to move on? What is exactly he wanting to move on from? Let's see. Temperance. So I see another Sagittarius. I don't... This is your second time getting temperance. Um, patient. He, looking for the right time to move on. Hmm. Looking for the right time to... Hmm. 
Let's get some more clarity on these cards. Why is the temperance card here? The nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles basically means independent, feeling fulfilled by their self, um, feeling grateful by their self. I don't know if he... Let me get some... Because what I'm feeling right now with these cards is that he feels like if a certain situation is not over or a certain, if you're not... He's hoping that... A certain situation that you guys can get over but if he doesn't he feel like he's gonna if he's single he's gonna be okay or you're gonna be okay why is the three of hearts I mean the three of swords here why is the three of swords here universe why is the three of swords here we have the fool mm, so somebody did something stupid hmm okay he feel like he did do something stupid and he knows and it's like he's slowly uh, coming to terms with it mm. okay also taking a chance um taking risk so i'm saying he's slow at that okay he doesn't want, I feel like for a part of him, he doesn't want to take a chance of, of you walking away or getting over it um, or using this, holding this up against him or holding this uh, to him, okay? He doesn't know if you can get over it. And he's basically preparing, what, what I'm seeing right now is he's, he's preparing himself that if you guys do um, break up, that you, you will be okay or he will be okay. He's also finding the right time to, he thinks that either within time y'all going to break up or y'all going to get over it. Why, why is the full card here? Why is the full card here? Why is the full card here? The tower. Wow. So, yeah, it's like he did something to destroy it. He could have cheated or he just portrayed you, okay, or he could feel that way about you. But what it's saying is that he basically did something that broke. Mm -hmm. He did something fucking stupid and it made the relationship almost come crashing down. Look at this tower card. Also, this represents... Scorpio energy, okay? I don't know if he, did he cheat? It seems like he probably cheated or gave something or gave some type of attention to someone else stupidly reacting because he was mad or hurt about something, okay? And he's hoping you can get over that or if not, he'll be okay if he's single. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The death card. So, like I said, Scorpio energy again. Um, yeah, some things gonna. He hope things can change. Okay, he's hoping things will change. He's hoping things will change. Something's gonna have to die. He feels like maybe in this next chapter of life or going forward that you guys are not. You're not gonna get over it, or he's not gonna get over it. Okay, and basically, the relationship will be done. Okay. Let's look, let me get some more clarity on the death card. We have the eight of wands. So basically, he's been talking to somebody or having some type of communication with somebody, okay? Um, I do see Scorpio. I do see um, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, um, what else? Aries. I do see uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, and I do see Aquarius here as well. So, I'm seeing he's having some type of communication to someone about the death of the relationship possibly um, in the future. Okay, I'm seeing that also. I mean, he's hoping it doesn't. He's hoping that it would change. Um, but I'm, I'm seeing that, you know, you, you guys can even be talking to each other about the, the relationship being over okay 
Um, I'm seeing that he hope it's not though. He do want a forward um, move movement with you. However, he feels like in the back of his mind that it's kind of over. He's feeling like it's kind of over. He's feeling like he can risk it. He can risk it. Okay. He's feeling that he can risk it. Okay. He can risk. It. He can get his offer somewhere else. He tried to get his have his offer here or have his family in here, but it didn't work out. Everything came to an end. He feels like, and um, and this can also be repeat of repeat of uh behavior or just a repeat of feeling. I feel because the wheel of fortune also means you know things turning for the right direction. So even if this relationship was to end, it it it's going to be positive. Okay, even if you're alone, it's going to be positive. Um, I'm just saying there's a lot of emotions. I'm saying he can may talk a good game. But deep inside, you kind of feel like it, it's a possibility that this relationship can be over. Okay? And he's, he's talking to someone and preparing himself for that. He's preparing himself for that. Okay? And I'm seeing it has to do with heartbreak. I hope it's, it could be cheating. Let me see. Let me get on. Okay. What? Yeah, I'm, what is exactly is he talking about? Why is the eight of wands here? What exactly is he talking about? The two of wands, his future moving on. Talking about, yep, so he is definitely talking about moving on. So, um, let me get some more insight. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? I got the six of wands, swords up, moving on. Yeah, he's trying to move on from something. He heartbreak something that was fucked up. He's hoping that he can get over it and that you can't get over it. He is trying to move on. He knows it was something that was fucked up that happened. Or just your dynamic is fucked up. Okay? And I'm seeing, you know, he hopes that you guys can move forward. He wants to offer, but he's not really sure how much to offer because he doesn't know if, in time, if y'all going to break up. Okay? I'm also seeing that he feels like he will be okay if he is single. Okay? He'll be okay at the end of the day if he is single. Um, he wants, he has been talking about the ending of your relationship, okay? The ending of the relationship. I'm saying he's been talking about how he would have, what he would have to do or how he would act or what, he, um, things would have to be done for, act to, for the relationship to be over. Um, also I'm seeing that he's just trying to move on with the situation. There was a tower moment with some shit that was um, re revealed and he's, thinking about that and how that played out and he's trying to move on from it he's trying to move on from that okay so he is hurt here okay um you can feel stupid or ashamed like the full risk taken ignorant okay and now he's just figuring out like where is he going to go in life okay where is he going to go in life? What direction is he going to take? So right now I'm seeing he's probably giving you different sides of him or telling you different things. Because right now he's not he's not for sure how this relationship is going to end or when it's going to end or how it's going to go because of hurt and trauma that's been, um, uh, that's been represented in the relationship. He has hope. Um, I do see he loves you. I do see love. I don't see anything where it, it says he doesn't love you. I just see more than more than likely he's just insecure about the relationship because of whatever happened and that he's now he's just thinking how how could he move on? I'm saying he's talking to people about it. like I said he could be talking to you. Um the message that we can get from the universe about your relationship. What is the message of the universe for the relationship? What is the message of the universe for the relationship? Play. It says play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So it's saying don't be so serious because basically whatever has happened is going to happen. Whatever has happened is going to happen. Putting extra, if you truly want this relationship, you're going to have to let or he's going to have to let go of certain things that happen. Because if not, the relationship is going to end. You have the tower, you have the fool. You have the time. It's just waiting on the right time. The relationship is going to end. So, 
you might as well have fun. And I know that's kind of like, what the hell are you talking about? How am I have fun if I'm over here stressed about a relationship? Because not everybody that's in your life is in your life forever. And why, you know, why, why upset yourself because of it? You know, why draw back on yourself because of it? It's saying have fun, don't be so serious. Look at the things in life that you can be appreciative for. Okay, and it said maybe you guys, if you really love this man, you want to be with this man, maybe start finding things that make you both happy. Okay, start doing things that make you, you guys both happy. But if his heart is not in it, like I said, he's just looking for the right time to to see if this relationship is going to end or if it's going to um, move forward. So he's kind of going back and forth. That's what I see too. He knows there was some shit that happened in the relationship. And he's hoping that you can get over it, or he's hoping he can get and he can get over it, but it's still bring it's still being brought up emotionally, and he is trying to get over it. Okay? And he is trying to get over it. Okay. And the overall message is, like I said, play. Let me get an overall message for you, Denier, when it comes to your relationship. What's the overall message? It's saying don't dim your don't dim to fit in. Don't dim to fit in. Don't dim. Even if you got to fake it till you make it. It says do not dim. To, how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So what are you? You're not being your, You're not being as expressive. You're not really expressing yourself. And if you are, you're not expressing it effectively. Okay. And it says there needs to be some type of com, com, um, effective communication. On top of that, don't, don't act naive. Don't be... Um, Try not to bring up situations to prevent certain arguments. Sometimes you have to bring up certain situations, especially if a motherfucker could be planning to leave you. Okay? Now, if this reading resonates, let me know. Give me some feedback. I'll, I'll answer your questions throughout the day. You did pay the special, so you do have me um, for the whole day. So, if you need any other readings or anything like that, let me know. Okay? Thank you.